Hey guys, Horror Collector 06, back at it again with another video. And before we get to the It Mask review, I want to show you guys this. So in my last video, I reviewed the Halloween 2 Trick or Treat Studios officially licensed um, mask. And here are the tags. I know, I realize I didn't show it to you. See, Michael Myers Small Edition. Little thing on here says, Trick or Treat Studios .com, designed in the USA, all right, it's reserved. Trick or Treat Studios LLC, Aptos, California, made in Mexico. Uh, Mass to Die For, and has a little reaper. Now, this isn't the good, good part of the tag. This actually has a bunch of caretaking notes inside them. I don't want to go too close. Yeah, has those in it. And this is probably the coolest part. It's an officially licensed Universal Halloween 2 mask. Uh, tag. This comes with the, with the mask. It's a really nice tag. And it has all the Halloween 2 masks in the back of it. Halloween 2 officially licensed masks. So that's the basic mask. The one I have, that that basic one. This is the Ben Tramer mask. Uh, this is the Elrod mask. And this is the hospital mask. They are forgetting their Tears of Blood mask, which is one of the greatest ones. But I guess you could pretty much relate the Tears of Blood to the regular Part 2 mask. So, on to the review. So today I'm going to be reviewing my officially licensed Ruby's Pennywise the Clown Mask from the It miniseries from 1990s. Um, it is a good mask, good price. Usually people charge around $60, yeah, $60, $70, but I was just searching around on Amazon and I found it for $30. Um, it's really nice. Um, I have no complaints about it. I actually... Do have to admit, and this happens with tons of Ruby's masks, I've noticed. If they are not kept on display, if they're shipped in a box, for an example, they're super flat, so I have to reshape them. The mask actually isn't even this full. It's just, I put, I'm not sure if I'm going to, you see that, what I'm poking on? That's all styrofoam right there. That's, um, like, plastic. So I stuffed it, and it looks super good stuffed. I'm not going to take it off, because I like the way it's positioned. You can even see it through that eye, that's... It's stuffing. No complaints about the mask itself, the sculpt. It actually reminds me of Tim Curry. How his head gets bigger at the top. Um, the only complaint I have is the hair. I'm sorry, but gotta complain about the hair a little bit. It's not bad. I do have to admit, it's not bad for a $30 mask. But you can constantly see glue. That's glue. This part came detached. That's glue and the brace. I, I could glue it back on easily. But I'm just not a fan of doing that much work for something I already ordered. I knew if I would have paid 60 I would have returned it. Because I would have liked that better value. But it was only a $30 mask. So it really was worth my while. But I knew this mask is big on me. Because one, I have a smaller head already. And two, the fact that this is big for somebody with a big head. is not. It's not surprising. The Michael Myers fits me good. The Freddy is a little bit bigger. But that's an average adult size. This is just so much bigger than the Freddy. They're both bald. The hair, it's it's a nice mask. I'm not going to complain. The hair, like, does make it look good. I just wish the hair was more puffy. Sorry, I didn't, I was pointing down. I'm sorry about that. wish the hair was just more puffy than that. It, it kind of looks a little bit too straight to be a 1990 miniseries Pennywise. But I'm fine with it. This mask is worth the value. And I would say if you could get it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting the officially licensed it 2017 mask anytime soon or if I will but I'm not I don't think I will not that great of reviews on it I tried on one and I looking at another but not that great reviews so if I had to give this a uh, selection out of five I would give it a four and a half only complaint I have is the constant glue showing but but this is a perfect mask I would recommend buying it um and just a little info about what's going to be going on pretty soon so I'll be right back So I'm actually going to be pointing it at my face at this point, uh, but I am wearing a mask. So I'm not complaining about this too much. It's actually super duper good. Um, It looks great with the Ruby's costume and everything. 
I which I will be doing a costume test and I will be reviewing the Ruby's costume not anytime soon because costume reviews are kind of a pain. So I'm just gonna catch you up on what's been going on. Everything is intact. I have all my weapons, everything. I am having a little bit of a hard time finding my Marsu uh face mask to black out your eyes when you're wearing like a Myers mask or something. I used it with my ghost face mask. Um, and it actually does look really good. Sorry, I can't get a good angle on this. I'm just gonna set you guys down. Make sure this is a good position. So this video is also a little bit of a catch-up. Let's get a good position. Sorry, I wasn't prepared to give you guys a catch-up video on this. It's a great mask and everything, but it's good. I'll just keep it as simple as that. So, masks on the way. Not too many, I think. Don't think there's gonna be too many on the way. Um, I do in fact know you guys will see a Michael Myers mask review, not on the H2, but on another one. And I would like you guys to comment which movie mask you think it's gonna be. If you're gonna think it's gonna be a one, a four, a five, a six, an H2O, a Resurrection, a H2018, a Rob Zombie Halloween one or Rob Zombie Halloween two mask. Comment what you think about that. And that's all I have going on so far. I already have the Halloween remake knife. So everything's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to have to update uh, a lot. But I will do this pretty frequently. To let you guys know what's going on. And what might, what, what might be coming in the future. So this is just a quick little update. Excuse the noises. But this is one more thing I'm going to show you before I end this uh, video. This is the tag that came with the It costume. This it says It movie on it and everything. Move it back a little bit. Just a bunch of warnings and care instructions on the inside. Um, pretty big tag compared to the Halloween tag. It's like, say about two Halloween tags put together. So, big tag and I actually did like it. Everything came pretty normal. Only thing I have to say is that I saw pictures online of the Party City uh, Pennywise the Clown Mask. And it did look a little bit different with the teeth. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's different or if it's just... I don't know what's going on. Because both of the pictures did look different. So that's all for now. That's just a quick, simple, honest review on my Pennywise the Clown Mask. I might be reviewing in different places now. You might see different little kind of like behinds of the behind the mask. Oh, uh, and that's about it for now. I think if something does go on, I'll update you about it. And the second that uh, unknown Myers mask comes in, I'll unbox it in one video, let it reshape, and review it for you guys. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share this video with people you know. Um, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.